banished to the back bench. Christian Porter is now fighting for his political life, hoping voters in Pearce give him another chance. He's been there for a long time and I've always voted for him, but this time I'm, I'm not quite sure, quite frankly. I think that any person in public office where there's a question probably should step aside. If anyone's managed a political resurrection... The uh, Prime Minister's taken off. It's Australia's acting Prime Minister. Barnaby Joyce is in charge and dealing with this latest coalition casualty. Yep, it's had, it's had a bad day at the wicket. There's no doubt about that. Christian Porter's been forced to quit the ministry after revealing mystery donors helped cover his legal fees through a blind trust. You'll go over to the corridor of the nearly dead over there. You'll have a bit of time on your hands. The ink on the resignation letter's barely dry, but already there's talk of a comeback. I believe he should be given another chance uh, at some future time in a senior role. Not if Labor has anything to do with it. If this stands, it's clear that you can buy a politician, you can buy a member of parliament. Mr Porter believes he followed the rules requiring MPs to declare any gifts or donations they receive. What the register of interests requires is that you disclose the amount of the gift and who it's from. Mr Porter has not done anything illegal. Whether it's legal or not, the fact remains the former Attorney General accepted money from an anonymous source and cannot conclusively rule out a conflict of interest. Labor will continue to pursue Mr Porter and Parliament's powerful Privileges Committee may yet investigate, ensuring this issue will await the Prime Minister on his return from the United States. He'll get a brief reprieve from domestic politics flying to Washington for face-to-face -face meetings with allies. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.